Over the past few weeks, I have seen a lot of creators using or even abusing their platform to either hate others or excuse their wrong behaviors. They are so used to being praised, loved, and being on top that when they stumble upon someone, usually smaller, who doesn't agree with their way of things, they either take it as a threat that should be silenced or use mockery to discredit said person and their opinion. Of course, opinions are subjective since they can differ between individuals and are part of the freedom of speech, which is one of the many fundamental rights of humanity. However, no one should abuse the power given to them to cause harm or force their vision upon others. In this video, I would like to develop on how being famous is a double-edged sword, especially in the gacha community. Hello everyone, Flo here, and let's get right into it. Being famous isn't an easy task, as everyone has started out their journey by being nobodies, myself included. The big gacha tubers that we know and love did various things in order to climb on their current spot, and that at a different rate. Some can be known for their numbers, their quality, their creativity, their personality, and the list goes on. Many small gacha tubers and viewers get influenced and inspired by the big gacha tubers in hopes to fit in and possibly make a name for themselves one day. They also tend to project their ideals onto them as well, depicting the gacha tuber they love as idols, embodiment of perfection, or at least what everyone should be like in their view. However, big gacha tubers are just like everyone else, humans, beings with flaws. They aren't toys you can play with or a reason to be hateful towards someone. The more a gacha tuber grows, the more they can be seen, but that makes them even more vulnerable. Not only is it due to the growing feeling of I shouldn't let my subscribers down, I need to work even harder, but also the constant dread of being criticized and messing up. In order to seek comfort, balance, and advice, subscribers and friends are usually here to help. But here, if one is not careful enough, it can become dangerous to the gacha tuber. If the gacha tuber is constantly blamed and not listened to, even when they are not the cause of the problem or already apologized for it, their self-esteem can drop massively and push them on the defensive or even retreat which can lead them to lose motivation to continue producing content, to potentially go on hiatus or even quit because of it, or even worse, become the very thing they were accused of. If the gacha tuber is comforted and protected in every situation they perceive as negative towards themselves, even if they did something terrible, they'll form this high opinion on themselves, stating that they are always right, while others who disagree are haters, and will see themselves as untouchable because no matter what they do, they always be loved and supported. The parasocial relationship between idols and fans can become toxic and abusive in that sense. I am not a professional psychologist or therapist, but anyone can be a good observer if they want to, and I'm pretty sure you can understand now that those behaviors are more common than you realize. Which now leads to the root of the problem. Some gacha tubers, either as a defensive reaction or to simply impose their beliefs, will use their fame and audiences as weapons to fight back against the criticism. I have made a video on this topic years ago, and it still has an age till this day. When a conflict arises, always be mindful of the information you receive before making your own opinion. A lot can be considered biased, depending on the history or the evidence. So learning about both sides is nowadays primordial. Also, if an issue can be solved privately by any means, do it privately. The amount of situations I personally avoided bringing on the public space just by simple talks on Discord are a huge win in my books. The only exception that I can understand is if a private discussion didn't end with a compromise and made things worse if one is not listening. Otherwise, nothing justifies bringing your audience into this. It took me years as a gacha renter to understand this. So I hope you would at least consider what I'm saying. Sometimes videos can be extremely biased and manipulative. Sometimes it can be very misleading and clickbait. And sometimes... They are purposely not telling you everything, in fear of potential backlash or tearing apart something considered great and stable. Fame is simply not meant for everyone. 
that'll be all for today's video. Have a nice day or night, everyone.